Right, next we have Mark Rutherford. Mark Rutherford, apparently, is an alien visitor who is recording the things he does not get about our planet. <laughs> this story is about one of those things. Welcome, Mark. I have arrived here from another planet to talk to you about the things I don't get about love. <laughs> I don't get that one word is used to describe so many acts of stupidity and devotion. <laughs> like the emotion itself, it seems you are devoted to the word love. <laughs> and like the emotion itself, it makes no sense. You believe that love grows in your body pump and that one person's body pump connects with another person's <laughs> body pump when in love. You draw your body pump in an anatomically incorrect way <laughs> and use this symbol everywhere for all things, including mild amusement on social media and the donation of blood. <laughs> you associate roses and chocolates and lubricant for your sex parts with love. Not all of these are red or pretty or edible. <laughs> this confuses me. You say you fall in love, but this is not true. You are either driven by hormonal imbalances to reproduce or you are conditioned into believing that a small boy with wings fires arrows at your body pump. The small boy with wings does not exist, just as love gods do not exist. Venus does not exist. Aphrodite does not exist. George Clooney does not. <laughs> Correction, George Clooney does exist, but he is not a love god. <laughs> The term lover is used by old men and women who were young men and women in the 10 years of the last of your centuries that you call the 60s, man. <laughs> and the term lover is also used inappropriately by people from Bristol. <laughs> A good number of which talk like pirates. <laughs> I like this, it shows imagination. I will share this with the people of my planet. <laughs> I don't get that each person on your planet pretends that there is one other person on your planet that they should love and that should pretend to love them back. <laughs> there are seven billion humans on your planet and no one checks them all. <laughs> so each person on your planet pretends for one just happened to work in the same place or live in the same city or put a photograph of themselves looking fine years younger at around the same time you look for one gender of person or size of person or one hair colour or one eye colour or that they make you laugh or that they speak in the same way or that they have lots of your money tokens or facial hair or ink pictures on their skin or have a nice arse <laughs> this is pragmatic but that you do not admit it is funny. <laughs> the two people meet mostly after dark with an unsustainable degree of personal hygiene. <laughs> and having doused themselves in flammable liquids that disguise their fears. <laughs> the meeting is spent telling lies to the other person whilst trying to judge the shape or size or feel or taste of each other's reproductive organs. <laughs> The hole in your head you call a mouth is where you insert food and water and alcoholic poisons. The mouth head hole does not serve a purpose for reproduction, <laughs> although many of you do not know or forget this fact. <laughs> your mouth close to the parts that do serve a purpose for reproduction. This does not lead to reproduction. Its inefficiency confuses me. The 
muscle in your mouth, head hole is wet and unhygienic, and yet you force that against the wet and unhygienic <laughs> muscle in another person's mouth. <laughs> Your head hole lubricant is disgusting. <laughs> and in order to compensate for this, your hands try to distract you by looking for weapons concealed on the other person <laughs> under their clothes. <coughs> on my planet, we do not kiss. We do not swap unhygienic head hole lubricants. We do not pretend there is a search for weapons. You seem to enjoy these things. This confuses me. I don't get that love has physical symptoms. It prevents sleep and suppresses the appetite for food. The body pump pumps faster and the pupils of your eyes change so that you look drugged. <laughs> the alcoholic poisons and the hormones and the chocolates mean that you are drugged. <laughs> Do you think this is your body pump or the arrow boy once more? <laughs> you feel invincible and desirable and aroused. You feel terrified and despairing and you have stomach cramps. You feel brave and funny and shiny. You feel vulnerable and exposed and as naked as if your body pump were outside of your body and had been shot by an arrow fired by a boy with wings. And you believe that if this happens, you will be happy. And if this does not happen, then you will never be happy. You believe this with all of the emotion you think is within your body pump. This confuses me, but then I have observed it confuses you too. <laughs> your planet and your people have surprised me in many ways. The love thing has surprised me most of all. I have observed the extremes of your emotion that result from your belief in love. I have observed you kill each other or hate each other. I have observed happiness and preening and commitment that almost matches that of puppins. <laughs> <laughs> and I have seen the looks you give each other in the moment when you feel the arrow enter your body pump. You funny earthlings. I cannot feel your emotion. I cannot feel your love. If I could, I think I would be confused because I think I would love you too. Whoa.